Hello and welcome to this session on application instance security. My name is Madhav Sathe. I'm a platform architect at Pivotal. In this presentation, we will walk through the native security features provided by PCF. This session will be recorded in two parts. In part one, we will cover details of containers, container security aspects that enterprises need to understand, and finally, how PCF provides defense in depth. First, let us understand what are containers. In PCF, every application instance runs in its own container. However, unlike the DIY platforms, PCF creates the secured containers for you. As a developer, you just need to CF push your application to the PCF cloud. The PCF bundles the necessary runtime with your application code and schedules the workload in a distributed environment on any cloud. PCF creates secured containers so that the developers can focus on delivering business values instead of re preparing DIY containers and implementing DIY security. We will revisit this diagram in part two. Containers created by PCF are OCI compliant. OCI or Open Container Initiative is open industry standards. Pivotal was a founding member of the OCI which runs under the auspices of Linux Foundation. OCI has two specifications. Uh, the image specification defines how, how the container image looks on the disk. The runtime specification outlines how the container is run after the file system bundle unpacked on the disk. What is container, however, uh, and how does it help? Well, unlike the VM, there is no real thing called container. Container is nothing but a process that uses some of the kernel primitives in a repeatable and reusable way. Containers provide higher density, speed, and agility than VMs. The reason this is called a container is because the process is contained in terms of what it can see and what it can do or how much it can do. Namespaces contain the process in terms of what it can see. And the C groups contain the process in terms of what it can do or how much it can do. Container has everything application needs, code, runtime, dependencies, configuration files, and also the file system. Containers are popular with both developers and operators. This is because they offer a simpler way to achieve deployment and execution consistency. They also help to improve development and operation teams handoffs. The reason containers are tiny compared to VMs, because containers share the operating system kernel and the resources. That is why containers can deliver speed and efficiency that VMs cannot. At the same time, it is also a risk that containers share the OS kernel and resources, particularly in multi-tenant cloud environments. Let us take a look at variety of risks that enterprises need to be aware of. The single most common and the biggest risk is the unpatched software. The vulnerabilities could be anywhere in the application stack, from the OS kernel to the application code. The risks are particularly severe when enterprises offer DIY platforms. There are numerous examples where unpatched software made unwanted headlines for the company and then they had to suffer major losses. For example, at Equifax, unpatched strut CVEs led to a massive breach. Other than CVEs, there are several risks organization don't pay a lot of attention to. If you have, uh, for example, if you have more than necessary binaries or executables, it directly increases the attack surface area. Enterprises spend enormous resources just to detect configuration drifts. Still, Snowflake configurations are not prevented 100%. These are typical symptoms of the DIY platforms. Finally, lack of communication across teams, especially InfoSec, Dev and Ops, is also a concern. Traditionally, security has been a concern, 
has not been a concern for dev or QA. It is always something that the operations teams had to deal with. Modern DevSecOps practices require that InfoSec conversations are embedded in the design and development stages. We refer to it as shift left security policy. Well, this study is conducted by NCSU on the images published on Docker Hub. The trend clearly shows magnitude of the problems of CVEs. As you can see, even official images, that is the images published by vendors, have hundreds of unique vulnerabilities. Each of the risks that we discussed earlier indicate different threats. In general, for container-based deployment, the fear of malicious container or malicious code within a container is a major issue. And this problem is magnified if a container breakout takes place in a multi-tenant environment. For example, a malicious code in a container can cause denial of service attacks on other containers or even on the host. Sometimes this may not be a malicious code that, but just inadequate containment of the container that can also cause problems. A more serious issues comes from APTs or advanced persistent threats or vulnerabilities which expose the kernel or the file system to malicious code. And that is why security is the number one challenge identified by enterprises in running containers in production. General security posture adopted by most organizations is to secure the perimeter, but that is not enough in multi-tenant world where containers live. You can have the best iron fence around a tree, but it cannot protect a tree hollowed by termites. So let us see how containers are secured, or rather should be secured. First, container security mechanism for application instance is isolation, and that is provided by namespaces. It is a kernel feature that lets processes have an isolated view of the system resources. Let's take a look at different namespaces and see how they protect containers in multi-tenant environment. Uh, the table here shows different namespaces and the resources they isolate. For example, uh, each IPC namespace has its own set of system V IPC resources uh, or identifiers and its own POSIX message queues. These objects are visible to only the processes running in the same IPC namespace. However, there are still some resources that are not namespace aware. Example, devices. We will revisit this part later. 